Hi, my name is Dorota Trapp, a qualified nutritionist delivering to you the latest nutritional tip. Thank you all for sending me through your questions. I am looking forward to answer these one by one. Anna asks, should I be taking a probiotic? If so, which one is best for Crohn's disease patients? Only in recent years has there been a large body of evidence from genetic and bacteriological studies indicating that the intestinal flora is the essential factor in driving the Crohn's inflammatory processes in genetically susceptible individuals. Therefore, manipulation and optimizing your gut microflora through probiotic supplementation might be a way forward. But there are not enough studies to draw a definite solid conclusion. It seems advisable to wait for results from controlled trials to know more about it and understand if it is a useful and safe practice. Researchers found in studying the population of microbes in the gut of Crohn's patients that they had less diversity than healthy people in gut microbes and more bacteria associated with increased inflammation. Hence, adding probiotic bacteria as a supplement and including a wide range of fermented foods into your diet should, in theory, be beneficial for you. In addition, researchers have discovered probiotic bacteria can influence the activity of immune cells and the cells that line the intestines. Specifically, these friendly bacteria appear to block disease-causing bacteria from sticking to the lining of the intestine. Again, in theory, probiotic supplementation should be useful. Here is a list of probiotic bacteria on the screen that have been used in trials and shown to be somehow beneficial to Crohn's patients. If you wish to try including probiotic supplements, these strains might be helpful. You might pause the video now and go through this. Crohn's disease is a complex disease. Diverse locations and different disease behaviors might well condition the response to probiotics. In addition, the course of Crohn's disease follows different phases. Probiotics might be more effective in the early ones. There are also many species of probiotic. One type might be more effective than the other. Because strain-specific properties might influence in the efficacy in different cases and situations. The quantity of bacteria content might condition the effectiveness of probiotic too. From my clinical observation, optimizing intestinal barrier function through probiotic supplementation and fermented foods will decrease gastrointestinal symptoms. You might try and see how it works for you. In general, probiotic bacteria carry minimal risks and they are safe to use for most people. If you would like to learn more tips on taking care of your health, please subscribe to my channel to check out on my upcoming videos or book one-to-one -one consultation with me through the website dorotatrap.com. Thank you so much and bye for now. Thank you.